Hey everybody. So I got here a Dutch DT connector kit. Um, this was sent to me from JR Ready. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in their products. Um, I do like these kits. Uh, of all the connectors that I've used, these are some of the easiest ones I've used. So I will show you how to pin them and how to depin them and show you why I like them. So this is the kit I got. Uh, JR Ready ST. 6328 DT connector kit comes with everything you see it's actually a pretty good kit um, I prefer these connectors over any other connectors just because of their simplicity of use and how quickly you can pin them and depin them and I just I find them a lot easier to use and with these closed barrel terminals here uh, I think these are either these are, these are the solid barrel or closed barrel and then you have open barrel or I think they call it stamped um, where you kind of crimp it and it makes like a U around the wire but I like these better because you don't really have to kind of fidget with the the terminal on the stamped ones you just put them in the crimper and you, you squeeze them down and crimp them and it's pretty pretty effortless you don't have to really kind of fuss with them too much and then once you once you got them crimped with the wire on there you basically just take your terminal and this is the wrong end for that one this is this end you basically just take your terminal with the wire on there and shove it through and inside there you see those little little uh, two tabs there those are what that terminal locks onto so they come through that it snaps open and it, it closes behind it and then it shuts it off so you can't pull the wire out and then you take your little wedge lock and you slide your wedge lock in there and it locks those little tabs so they, they won't open up. So I will show you how to pin them and depin them and maybe you will agree with me and you will think that they are good as well. Uh, they do require a specialized crimper. This is the crimper that I got. It wasn't very much. So basically you put the terminal in there just slide it in once it's in there you put your wire in there and then you squeeze it and it crimps down and it uh it has i think eight little tabs or eight little points there and they come together and they just squeeze that closed around the wire and then uh then you're done with that part so this kit also came with this little tool this tool works well for getting these little wedge locks out because when this is in there, it sits flush. So what you have to do is you have to kind of come in here and then turn that, and then you got to hook it to pull it out. Um, so that's the only kind of thing that's a little tricky about it, is you kind of need this little tool to get it out of there. Um, a little flathead screwdriver for depressing those little locks. Uh, it also came with some plugs. So you got the plugs here. These will go inside the back of the terminals. Let's say you only got 10 wires and you want it in that 12 pin connector there. You'd put some plugs in there to keep the water intrusion out and uh, keep it all sealed up. So everything that you see here is what came in this kit. I don't believe it was very expensive. It also came with these uh, little mounts. So all of these will go into this so you can actually mount them onto your frame or wherever you wanted to put them. Uh, these work well on pretty much most applications that require like a 12 volt system uh, you can use them for cars trucks boats motorcycles whatever wherever you want to plug this will probably work for as long as it's 12 volt i believe so you can get these in uh three different sizes that i'm aware of i do believe that they come in smaller sizes and bigger sizes as well so this is a size 16 um so these are basically for four 16 gauge um some of them have this little green stripe some of them have a purple stripe generally the 16 is going to be for 16 gauge and up but because this has a green stripe on it that indicates that it will fit uh heavier gauge wire so you could fit a 14 in this and i believe this is 14 to 20 that'll work in this um the they also have a i believe a 20 comes with a purple stripe on it and that will fit i believe 16 to 18 gauge up to 20 to 22 
Uh, generally, if it's just labeled the 20, it's 420 to 22, I believe. But when you get them with the stripes, that basically tells you it'll fit uh, heavier gauge wire. So um, I do believe that these 16 here, if you with the correct wire, will hold handle 13 amps. Um, I think it's the 14 gauge wire will handle 13 amps. I have gotten a 12 in there before. I wouldn't recommend it, obviously, for safety purposes. But I've had to take some strands out of it, which would indicate that it's probably not a 12 gauge wire anymore. But anyway, so these are my favorite strippers to kind of just grab the wire, strip them work pretty well so I'm going to install this uh, two pin one on my truck cap here for my third brake light because I don't have a wire in there so let's do that so essentially what I'm going to do is I actually like to put these on to the wiring first it just uh, seems easier than to try to put it in here and then put it on there so like I said I'll stick it on the wiring first and then I'll kind of just push the whole thing right in there now we give it a crimp down and a little tug, make sure it's on there. It's on there pretty good. Like the next one. I mean, you can put it in the crimper too if you want first, but I like to put it on the wire first. The tug test works well. So this takes this side of the connector so what we're going to do is we're just going to push it in from the back like so push it in there you can kind of see it coming through there just push it till it clicks see so now that's clicked see how it's on the other side of that tab there so I'm going to show you, basically, to take it out, you're going to do the opposite thing. Come in there, bend that little tab sideways, you probably can't see me doing it, and just kind of pull it from the back, and then it comes right out. Pull it back out. This little insulator here will go in and out, though. It's just kind of pressed in there. So you can pull it right back out, but you don't want to do that. I'm going to push it back in. Now that is in. Take a little wedge lock, kind of put it in there. It's a little tricky. You got to get it up in that groove, and then uh, make sure your wiring is in correctly. It's got to go on the back side of those tabs, and then push that in. Now it's connected. All said and done. So if you want to remove that. You're gonna do obviously the opposite. Come in here with this tool, get in there, hook it around that wedge lock, and then pull it out, and it'll just come out. And then to press your little tabs, pull your wiring out, and you're done. So if you decided like later on, if you wanted to add more wiring to your plug, which I'm probably going to do, I'm probably gonna use one of these four pin plugs in here eventually, and uh, put some lights around the side of the windows, I'm going to just depin this and I'm going to use the four pin one and put that on there and then I can run the wiring on the windows along with the wiring for the third brake light and I could just unplug it with one plug. So so with the other side, the other side is a little different. It does still have those little uh, tabs in there just like that one does. The only difference is this is the wedge lock, not the not the internal piece. So this just slips in there like that. And then now that's locked in. And then your, your pins just go through that hole there. Same deal with the, the rubber uh, seal on the back. So to take this back apart, you just got to get under there and kind of pop this up. And now this is released. And you just come in here, depress your tabs or release your tabs to remove your wiring or install it. So same thing, just a kind of a different, different setup and different lock. So that is the JR Ready's Deutsch kit. Um, 
It's got one of every plug, obviously. Uh, let's see, it's ST6328 DT connector kit. I don't believe this was actually that much money, to be honest. Um, I'll have a link in the description. If you're interested, you can go pick one up. Uh, I say I did not pay for this. They did send this to me, but I do like these, so that's why I'm showing them to you. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't show them to you, and that's why I pretty much never show anything to you. So anyway, hope you have a nice day. Hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching.